Hey everybody, are you ready for the next Trials of Apollo book? The Tyrant's Tomb, 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 Tomb. Well, I can answer that for you because no, you're not ready. I know a lot of bad stuff, a lot of tragic stuff happened in the burning maze. Sorry about that. But Apollo's still got a lot to do. He's got to face two evil Roman emperors and their army who are coming down on Camp Jupiter like a storm. Not only that, but there's an evil Roman king rising from the dead. How is Apollo going to get out of this? You're going to see some of our old Roman demigod buddies, Hazel Levesque, Frank Zhang, and yes, Reina Avila Ramirez Arellano. That's her on the cover. What's going on here? Well, she's being a boss, as usual. We have Apollo down here hanging for dear life, not being a boss. And Meg McCaffrey is down there trying to sort of keep him from falling to his death, as usual. It's been a while since we've seen Camp Jupiter. And in the tyrant's tomb, you're going to kind of see the inside of the camp really for the first time. And things have not been going all that well. They've had a lot of monsters to face, and there's been a big shakeup in the power structure. What is Reyna herself up to? You will find out. Also, Frank and Hazel. What's going on with them? You'll find that out as well. And you'll get to see Tyson the Cyclops, one of my personal favorite characters, and his girlfriend, Ella the Harpy. They both have major parts to play. One of the greatest monsters that happens in the Tyrant's Tomb happens right away in like chapter one. It's called a Eurynimus, and it's basically a ghoul. They basically chew up people until there's nothing left but bones. But if you can imagine meeting one of these things in real life, first of all, don't let it touch you. It looks terrible. It wears vulture like feather diapers and it's got these awful claws, and it drools. Ah, it's just the most disgusting monster. I love it, and I hope you will too.